Okay, so next we're going to look at um, some binomial expansions. Here we go, the first question, expand and simplify, uh, and we've got x squared minus 2 over x, all in brackets, to the power 4. Okay, so if we, if we remember uh, the binomial expansion, um, and I think the key thing to this is kind of keep brackets in, so we're going to have the So we've got uh, x squared in brackets, and we can have that to the power 4. And then we're going to have uh, 4 choose 1, x squared to the power 3 times by minus 2 over x. And then we're going to have 4 choose 2, x squared squared. And we're going to have minus 2 over x squared. And we're going to have 4 choose 3, x squared to the power 1, minus 2 over x to the power 3. And then lastly, uh, we're just going to end up with minus 2 over x to the power 4. Okay, so it's simply just following the rules of the binomial expansion. Uh, like I said, the only real mistake you can make it with these questions is to forget to put the brackets in in the right places. Um, basically, once you've got all that, um, it will simplify, and you should end up with uh, x to the 8 minus 8x to the 5 plus 24x uh, squared minus 32 over x plus 16 over x to the power 4. Okay, and there we go. Um, so, uh, a relatively straightforward sort of question there. Um, okay, this one's a little bit more difficult. Um, this time we don't know what the, the, the n term is here, and we've got to find out what that n is. Okay, so if we think about this, well, how would we get an, an x cubed term? Well, that would be when I had the n choose 3, and I would have the half to the power 3, um, because that would be the bit that gave me the x cubed here. Okay, so I'd have that, um, and, and that would be my term in front of the x cubed. Okay, because 1 to any power is still going to be 1. So this bit here will, will determine the coefficient of the x cubed. Um, uh, once I've got that, well, I need to remember the actual equation for n choose 3. Well, the equation for n choose 3, which is uh, in the form of the book, is n factorial over 3 factorial n minus 3 factorial. And, well, that is being times by 1 over 8. So that is my coefficient. So 1 over 2 cubed is 1 over 8. This is my coefficient term. Um, and then there's a little trick to simplify this first thing. Well, n factorial means n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 factorial. Because n minus 3 factorial means n minus 3 times n minus 4, all, all the way back to 1. Okay, so I can rewrite that as, as this, 3 factorial, n minus 3 factorial, times by 1 over 8, and of course the, the n minus 3 factorials will cancel out. So that will leave me with uh, n, n minus 1, n minus 2, all over factorial times by 1 over 8 and uh, as before the world question actually said that told me that the answer for this was going to be 70 so there we go so my answer is going to be 70 um, if I've simplified that a little bit I could end up with n n minus 1 n minus 2 is equal to 70 times by 48. Um, I could basically just, again, uh, probably the easiest way to do this is uh, on a, possibly on a graphics calculator. 
um, you could actually plot these as x's, so you could actually plot the graph of y equals x, x minus 1, x minus 2, minus or whatever 78 times 48 is equal to. So you could actually plot this graph and see where it crosses the, uh, the x axis. Okay, so then solve it to find out when that crosses the x axis. That will give the answer, and that will give you an answer. Um, finally, of n is equal to 16. Okay, so when n is n equals 16, uh, we get the coefficient of 70. Okay, uh, and then for part b, so it just reminds what the question was. Question basis for hence find the coefficient of x squared. So if I've basically got 1 plus uh, x over 2 to the power 16, and I need to find out the x squared term, well, the x squared term will happen when I have 16 choose 2, uh, a half times 2. So that will give me, that will end up giving me the, the x squared term. So therefore, that will be. 30. So 30 is the, the coefficient. Okay, uh, and then the last question uh, is probably a little bit uh, easier. So we've got uh, 1 minus 2x to the power 5 times by 1 plus x to the power 7. We we'll just use binomial expansion two times for this particular question. Um, so I'm just going to expand this first this first bracket. Um, I'm going to have 1, then I'm going to have plus here, 5, choose 1, minus 2x, and then I'm going to have 5, choose 2, minus 2x, and squared. And remember, if I only want to find the first three terms, actually, I don't need to work out any more terms than that. So that is my first bit. So dot, dot, dot. That will continue, but I don't need the x cubed or the x to the power 4 terms. I only need the first three terms. And then the second one, well, again, I'm going to have uh, 1. And I'm going to have 7 choose 1. x plus 7 choose 2 x squared, okay, again dot dot dot, I don't need the rest of the terms, um, and now I've got this, all I need to do is actually uh, kind of multiply together and find uh, the relevant term, so the coefficient, the, the single coefficient is only going to happen when I do 1 times 1, so that's going to give me 1, um, then I look up for the ways in which I can get an x, well I've got 1 times 7 choose 1 x, that's one possibility. And there's another another possibility where I have this times 1. So I'm also going to have 5 choose 1 minus 2 x, like that. So those are the two terms that are going to give me an x term. And I basically use the same method to find the x cubed term, so the x squared terms. Um, I've got my 1 times this thing here. I've also got this 1 times this x squared here. I've also got this x term times by this x term here. So I'm going to end up with three separate terms that give me the x, squa uh, the x squared. So overall, if I simplify that out, I would hopefully finally end up with 1 minus 3x uh, minus 9x squared. Okay, so I said it's just as simply a case of matching up the terms that will give you the x or the x squared when you multiply out those two brackets there.